now I'm into a green mm-hmm. energy. And I, <laughs> I'm into uh, uh, mariculture and fish uh, farming development and, you know, trying to uh, promote uh, peace in the valley with the environmental community and the conservation community with uh, the native community. And uh, so Wanda and I begin to collaborate on a few of these things and, and uh, some of it's starting to have impact. When you talk to native Alaskans in this region, they talk about the old wisdom about how people should relate to the forest. And I think that means humility about the way we treat the natural environment. I think it means recognizing how interconnected this incredibly beautiful and intricate place is and how fragile it can be in the face of industrial development. There's really a true wisdom in these forests. One of the wisdoms of this incredible forest is it's a living laboratory of nature. Where do you find this diversity of wildlife within the Tongass? The Tongass is really extraordinary because it allows this diversity of life, whether it's whales and uh, salmon and bears, eagles, that you just don't find anywhere else. Tourists come up here to see the wildlife, and we never get tired of it. We get so excited when we see the wildlife ourselves. We can really tell the history to the tourists and make it come alive. We can build economies on allowing people to peek in at how we live, and people will pay to see it. There's another way to tell our story, the same method that we have done throughout the generations of time. We can bring forward that same thinking in planning for the future. We're not a nation that, that works 20, 30, 50 years ahead. And we don't do long-term planning. And I think that's something that we're gonna have to change. I think it means the restraint to take one tree at a time instead of clear cutting. We have to all live in the forest together federal government, the state government, conservation community, environmentalists, and the indigenous people of, of the forest. The greatest value of the Clinkett and Haida people is that we have adapted to every culture and society that has come to us. But the fundamentals of our culture still exist. To date, Anxa remains the largest Native American land claim settlement in United States history. But decades after the passage of the Land Claims Act, actions by state and federal agencies have prevented this momentous legislation from achieving its stated goals.